Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Have a Pint. Today, we have Hibernation Ale from Great Divide, excuse me, from Great Divide Brewing Company. It is an old ale, and Great Divide is out of Denver, Colorado. This beer is 8.7% alcohol by volume, 50 IBUs. It gets an average rating of 3.66. It's been rated 69,492 times. The description for the beer on Untapped reads, Hibernation Ale has been our celebrated winter tradition, winter tradition since 1995. This robust dry hopped ale has a malty richness balanced with a complex hop profile and a hearty warming character. You just like being in all the videos, don't you? She wasn't in the last couple, though. Here's what the can looks like. More importantly, let's see what the beer looks like. Beautiful. Uh, very, very dark beer, brown in color, and you gotta release those claws. Those claws cannot be in me. They hurt. Uh, light colored head, fingers worth of head, fingers worth, yeah, fingers worth of head. I don't know what I was thinking. I said it right. I said it right. See any bubbles? Yeah, there, you can see some bubbles going up. Uh, get a big roasty uh, aroma to it. Got a big a roasty aroma. Chocolatey. It smells fantastic. You get just a smidge bit of the booziness, but not enough to call it booziness, but you get a smidge bit of it. Not really chocolatey on the, on the palate. Uh, <clears throat> little bit smoky it's it's robust it's smoky uh, it's definitely malty you know it says it's dry hops but you don't even get any, I don't believe you get bitterness there's a little bitterness back there but you don't really get it Uh, it definitely drinks full bodied. It definitely drinks all of that 8.7%. Uh, like it says there, it's hearty, it's warming. You know, there's that warmth to the alcohol as it goes down. Um, there's a sweetness to that uh, malt as well as the roasty, uh, smoky deal going on. I haven't had this in years. When was the last time I had it? I am insanely impressed. Yeah, I have... Wow. I have not had this beer. Six years. Six years since I've had Hibernation Ale. Why it's been so long, I will not ever be able to tell you. 
because I want this to be a staple every winter. <laughs> My goodness, the depth to this. It's impressive for a uh, beer that's just, uh, you know, it's not, it's not a special offering. It's not a high-priced offering. It's a main offering. It's their winter seasonal. And it's got depth, it's got complexity, uh, richness, uh, full-bodied, uh, more like something that would be higher price, specialty release kind of thing. I'm actually surprised it only gets a 3.66. It might not be one of the best examples of the style, but I'm... I'm floored by the depth and complexity of it, uh, whilst just being their regular winter seasonal. You know, it's not like a, a $10 bomber, or even an $8 bomber, or 6 or 7 no, it comes in a six pack of cans, all for ten bucks. And of course, that ten bucks is here. I don't know what it would necessarily be in your area, but I'm not kidding. I am floored. Floored. I'm blown away by the amount of character for. Just their main winter seasonal. Why haven't I had this since 2012? Now, don't get me wrong. Back in 20 years, uh, 20 years. Back in 2012, I had been drinking for three years. Three and a half almost to that point. And I don't necessarily think I was at a point actually yet where I could appreciate the depth, complexity, uh, and just how big and immense this beer actually is. It doesn't drink heavier alcohol-wise than what it is. It drinks that 8.7. It drinks an 8-9%. You know, it doesn't shy away from that. It doesn't sweeten it up to where you don't know how big it is. You do know how big it is. You don't get the alcohol burn uh, that usually comes along with that, which kudos for that, because I think that would detract from all the complexity to this beer. Yeah, uh, I've always been impressed with Great Divide. I don't think I've had anything by them I dislike, actually. The last time I had had one of their beers actually was very beginning of this year, almost 12 months ago, and it was uh, Velvet Yeti Nitro on tap. And I gave that five stars. However, I hadn't had anything since 2012, really, from Great Divide, which actually, can, maybe I just haven't rated anything since then. Tell you what, I gave their Scotch Ale four stars. Enough said about that. Belgian style Yeti. Haas. I really only gave Haas three stars. I'll have to try their Oktoberfest next time it comes out. Uh, Titan IPA. Hercules Double. And Yeti was the first one I had by them. But it's, besides Haas, it's always been four stars and above. That and the Wild Raspberry Ale. I don't even remember Wild Raspberry. I, re I remember having seen the label. I don't remember nothing about that beer. But I, I think next to Yeti, this is my favorite beer that they do. Uh, will I get this again? I might even get it again this winter. Uh, 
And like I said, it's ten dollars for a six pack, so that's pretty good. Uh, rating on it, I won't be as generous as I was six years ago, but I definitely think this deserves all of a four point two five. Even though I appreciate the depth and complexity of this more than I did then. I still think I only give it a 4.25. Uh, I'm loving it. I'm going to, you know, I, I rated something 4.25 the other day. And I wish, I, oh, it was the uh, New England style from Sam Adams. And I wish I'd have done 4.5. I'm going to do 4.5 here. Because I know as soon as I turn the video off, I'm going to be like, or, like, in the case of that, I'll drink the next can and go, why didn't I do 4.25? But anyways. Or, why didn't I do 4.5? Anyways, that is it for this episode of Let's Have a Pipe. Till next time, Prost.